In watching and reading the news the last couple of days, I've come across a few things that I think you'll find very recognizable if you've been paying attention to the news too. I found that people have been lovers of themselves, that they're lovers of money, that they're boastful, that they're proud, that they're abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, they're brutal, they're not lovers of the good, they're treacherous, they're rash, they're conceited, they're lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. These are the times we live in. And what I'm telling you, what I saw is right there in 2 Timothy 3, 1 through 4, where it says, but mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. And then it just goes on to what I just told you I've seen too. And I'm sure you've seen it. Hello and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. Well, these are the times that we live in. It's not going to get any better. In fact, in Matthew 24, 37, the Bible tells us, For the coming of the Son of Man will be just like the days of Noah. And over in Genesis 6, it pretty much describes the days of Noah and what went on. It says in Genesis 6, 5, The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil all of the time. Just like it is today. It's like it is out there today. We are living in the same way that the people did in the times of Noah. And what happened then? God destroyed the earth. He destroyed all human mankind except for Noah and his family. And of course, animals two by two. But this is where he's led us to. This is where we're at now. It says it's going to be like that. And we can start looking up because the signs are here that Christ is coming and he's coming soon. He's coming for his bride. He's coming for his church and we are his church, children of God. So that's the good news. The bad news is we have to live through these times. The good news is our Lord is coming to get us. He's coming to redeem us. He's coming to take us out of this and he's going to do it soon. So keep your eyes up. Keep your focus on him. Make sure that he's involved in every part of your life. Make sure you're inspiring others to have a, a personal relationship with Jesus because that's the way they're going to get out of this too. Have a personal relationship with him. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you everyone.